those of us here who are parents and relatives know what these report cards look like when our kids come home and we're usually required to sign them that we've seen them. Well, this is a report card to give to the residents of New Jersey. Each issue is significant individually, but taken together, they do constitute an assault on women. And we'll start off with women's health care. As you can see, the governor got an F minus. I was questioned. I'm not sure whether there is such a grade as an F minus, but he certainly got an F. The report card says that the student shows disregard for the subject matter and has repeatedly failed to make up the work when given the opportunity. On the issue of pay equity legislation, the governor receives an incomplete. These bills would ensure that men and women would be paid equally for the same work. We hasn't vetoed those <coughs> bills yet, so we're giving him an incomplete and a chance to sign them and maybe get an A in one of these subjects. On the uh, subject of health insurance exchanges, my colleague, Senator Gill, has been the lead sponsor. The governor also receives an incomplete. That's marked here. The bill would establish the health insurance exchange required under the Affordable Care Act and requires that womanhood is no longer treated as a pre-existing condition. On the issue of child care and after school programs, the governor receives a D, gets a slightly higher grade here. He initially vetoed the New Jersey After Three funding but subsequently restored the funding after being shamed by legislative Democrats. On the issue of Winona's House, hopefully most of you will remember that, the governor also receives a D. Winona's House, named for the late Senator Winona Lippman, serves the child victims of abuse and violence, and again, the governor initially vetoed the funding, but after he was kept after school, he subsequently restored it. The governor does get one A. He gets an A plus in his unbending support for the Republican national agenda. That is one place that we are not questioning where the governor's values are or where he stands. The report card says that the student has shown particular zeal for this subject matter, marching in lockstep with an extreme agenda set by the national GOP. And lastly, the governor receives an F for social skills. That's that part where the student does not play well with others and urged fellow students to take a bat out against one of their peers. For that, most students get into trouble. While the report card hopefully exhibits, exhibits a little bit of a light touch and a few chuckles, the results of the governor's stances has been felt among the women of the state, women who depend upon us to be their voice. And that's why we are standing today with the Senate president to affirm our commitment to being that voice, standing up for the women of this state instead of standing in their way. We are united as women, and make no mistake about it, we are united as Democrats, and we are united as citizens of New Jersey. The governor should know, if he doesn't know by now, that we will stay committed in our fight for New Jersey's women.